All right, hello, you guys. So this reading will be for Gemini. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, Gemini. We want to see what's coming up for you guys. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. All right, Gemini. What's up, my beautiful Geminis? Why do, Gemini, why do I feel like someone trying to act like you, pretend to be you? They do whatever you do. So watch out for the number 1010 as well. So watch out for that number. So 1010, someone is trying to copy you, okay? You could be dealing with another Gemini energy or air sign, but it doesn't have to be. But that's just what I'm feeling, okay, you guys? But we're going to clarify deep, okay, Gemini? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Tell me what's coming up for my Gemini. Long distance. All right, Gemini, you could be dealing with someone who's not around you. This is what I'm saying. This person is not around you. I'm saying like they could stay far from you. Okay, you don't see this person as much, but just know someone that you're dealing with wants to be you. You're dealing with a long distance connection relationship as well for some of you guys. We have here going in circles. So there is someone that you're going in circles with, Gemini, okay? It's the same old stuff, back and forth energy. This is what I'm saying, going in circles. All right, tell me more about this for Gemini. Okay, that was quick. I love how these cards coming out. We have here, I am sorry. So someone wants to let you know that they sorry that they, they haven't been around. We have here, don't choose the wrong one. So you have like more than one person that's coming towards you. And it's telling you don't choose the wrong one, okay? Someone could be coming in to apologize to you. Gemini, why do I feel like it's two people? Like, I'm saying like an old person and a new person. I'm saying like at the workplace, new job. So you can meet this person through work at your new job as well. And this is for some of you guys, okay? All right. Tell me more about this for Gemini. Gemini. Tell me more about this from Gemini. Y'all, y'all know I had to choose a baby deck. Yes. You're always on my mind. So y'all know what song I'm hearing? You always on my mind. I ain't getting another. You're always on my Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing that. You're always on this person's mind. So this person, and I'm saying like, this is someone who's at a long distance from you, okay? Period, point blank. You always on this person's mind, okay? Period, point blank. A love letter. So they're coming in with a love letter. I'm saying like something may show up at your doorstep. Okay, this is what I'm seeing, Gemini. Tell me more about this for Gemini. I want you to meet someone. So this person could want you to meet their family. And we have your needs and want space. Okay? So you could be dealing with someone. You probably haven't seen this person, Gemini, or talked to this person like that because they want and they need their space a lot. Um, this is how they grew up and they want to they want you to know. I'm saying like someone wants you to meet their family, okay? And if it's not now, it's going to be down the line. They want you to know them personally. But this person is at a distance from you. You could be dealing with the Aquarius energy or a fellow air sign as well, y'all. Period, point blank. But we want to clarify more about this. Tell me more about this for Gemini and this person. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. And they're coming in with this love letter. Oh, look, what is this? Look, look, peeping out the window. What I'm hearing, future? Peeping out the window, stop playing. We have here Aquarius energy, Aquarius moon, Venus arising. So someone that you're dealing with, I'm seeing Gemini. Did I tell you you could be dealing with Aquarius? That's an Aquarius card. Or air sign, moon, Venus arising. I'm saying 
like wishing and hoping and praying I get this. Wishing and hoping I'm praying that I get this person back, me and this person be back together. This is my only wish. So someone could be wish upon a star dealing with you, Aquarius. Tell me more about this. Look, you could be definitely dealing with a Pisces, okay? Period, point blank. Because there, there's like, it was like two Pisces card that came out, okay? We have here the sun and the moon. So Leo energy, I'm seeing like a truth that's coming to light, okay? Because I'm seeing like a wish fulfillment, then we have the sun and the moon. Yeah, there's communications coming in. Like I'm seeing, like I'm seeing y'all watch, watch um Gemini reading as well. Not Gemini, Aquarius, okay? Because some of you guys could be dealing with a strong Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo here, here, here as well, okay, you guys, Gemini. So there's this communication that's coming in. Oh, someone is coming in to send you a romantic message. You know what I'm here? I should have bought you flowers when I had the chance. Someone should have bought you flowers, or they should have did the right thing when you had when they had the chance. Okay, you guys. So there is this connection that's coming in from this person that you're dealing with. Oh, but you feeling like you have to protect yourself. That's what I'm saying, Gemini. You feel like you have to protect yourself from this person that you're dealing with. Tell me more about this for Gemini. Tell me more. Why do Gemini feel this way? I can't leave my family. So this person, some of you guys, you're dealing with a married man or you're dealing with someone who has a baby mother, baby father. They still see that baby mother or that baby father. They may tell you it's because of the kids, but it's really not. Okay, you guys? This person, or this could be you. Period, point blank, Gemini. I can't leave my family. Someone can't leave someone behind. And this is why things are not working the way it's supposed to. Hmm. This person could try to bribe you with designer. Or this is how this person, they used to tell you, or they tell you that they got themselves together. I'm seeing that they really don't. They just, they live with a third party. This is third party money. This is third party. They be driving in this third party car. Like I'm seeing like this person drives their baby mama or their baby daddy car, pretending like it's theirs when it's not. You know what I'm saying? Mm, don't be fooled about that, by that, um, Gemini. I keep wanting to call you guys Aquarius, so, um, there's a strong Aquarius that's coming your way, y'all, period, point blank. Like, this could be Aquarius that you're dealing with. Oh, we have here the Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. So, fire sign. So, this other woman could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This third party could, they don't even want them like that, okay? They could be dealing with, they don't even want them like that, okay? Because this person like to play games. They like to play games. So, I'm saying like there's a Virgo in, involved. So you want to find out someone's secret or why this person been acting strange or why this person been acting this way. Yeah, it's because this person still tied to someone else. It's because this person still dealing with someone else, you guys. With the lovers here. Yup. And they trying to start romantic connections with you. You could also deal with a person who love everybody. They love, they love the ex across the street. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. That's how Capricorns act. Like, 
Capricorns keep in touch with all their exes. Okay, period. Point blank. Like, they, they be like, "Hey, I ain't dealing with this person no more." When it really is this person, they still dealing with this person. Okay. All right, Gemini. This is the only thing I have for you. Please like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget, this is what's coming up for you guys. Thank you.